new day has dawned. This is our first official uh, day back in, uh, where are we? Uh, we're in West Palm, uh, just inside the inlet, which is over yonder. Uh, the order of the day is to officially check back in the country. So we have to go over to a marina, we have to get an Uber ride to an airport that is approximately seven miles that way. Uh, do whatever we have to do to get checked back in. And then we're gonna move from here up to the northern end of Lake Worth. So that's kind of the plan. Uh, right now we got some, uh, some storms coming in, kind of starting tomorrow. So I'd like to be up there in Lake Worth. It's a little less open than this area. So eh, I don't know, it just seems like a, seems like the good thing to do let's see a couple other things uh, thing number one see how our uh, our uh, anchor stuff is going out in this direction now well we kind of have the sailing at anchor thing going on now and that's because uh, since leaving the Bahamas and coming back to Florida we have basically swapped swell for current. Uh, there is, you know, there is some current in some parts of the Bahamas, but, uh, you know, really not, really not so much unless you're just anchored really close to the cuts, which, you know, usually doesn't happen. So, uh, now we kind of have this, this weird thing going on. Uh, another kind of troublesome thing with this situation is that we can no longer use our wind scoop effectively. You know, the big parachute thing that we hook right here. Uh, and that is because basically the, the wind is coming from that way right now, uh, but we're being held this way uh, by the current. So that's thing number one. Uh, thing number two, here's just kind of a random, I don't know, I guess this is kind of a pretty helpful fact. By taking the route yesterday going from Bimini all the way up here to West Palm, uh, instead of going from Bimini to uh, Key Biscayne or Miami, we skipped 29 opening bridges. Oh, so that is that is such a good thing. I actually I got chill bumps when I said that. It just makes me so happy to have uh, bypassed that many of those frustrating bridges uh, between us and the Indian River, which is. I'd say maybe 20 miles north, uh, there's only six opening bridges. So we have, we have far and away uh, bypassed the bulk of those opening bridges by coming directly to, uh, to West Palm. So take note of that. Um, yeah, that's a, that's a good way to get rid of a, a lot of those opening bridges. Just skip them all together because most of them are between West Palm and Miami. All right, so I've only got one battery for this camera. It's probably already halfway dead, so I got to be sparing with the rest of the battery life. So onward to the international airport where we check back in. Dingy, dingy duck. And we are not going to the uh, the big square building like I said yesterday. We can be called in and talked to somebody at some number and they told us to go to the inter the uh, international airport instead so that's what we're doing yeah, they told us to go there because we had to report in 24 hours and this is not open on sundays ah okay okay so it is sunday we can't go here so we have to go to the international airport instead okay so that's yep. the reason all right dinghy different dinghy dock this is the appropriate dinghy dock here see this small dock area here's something funny though look at the size of these cleats it's like a cleat for a nuclear submarine. This dinghy ain't going anywhere. Well, I guess the dinghy could so go somewhere, but those lines aren't going anywhere. Let's see. All right, here we go. General Aviation Facility. I think this is where we're checking back in. And they give you a number. Um, I have our, I called yesterday, okay. I have our arrival number, so would you, what do I need to do? Okay, here's our arrival number right here, passport, yep, there you go. 
All right, we are checked back in. We are officially citizens of the United States once again. Did we ever, were we ever not citizens of the United States? No. Okay, well that, that you know, that's not a good way to say it, but we are checked back in. All right, this is Uber ride number two for the day. All right, there goes Uber ride number two. And we're back at the, uh, the main marina building here. We found a restaurant here on the corner. I think we're gonna get something to eat at the Rafiki Tiki. <laughs> the Rafiki Tiki and it was cold in there there was actual air conditioning that was just pumping the moment I opened the door and stepped outside into the heat my eyeballs fogged up it was kind of chilly in there wasn't it no it was great it wasn't too cold you don't think no. you didn't get chilly at all Why? party central my goodness Sucks. suck central Ben says First bridge, six months. Here we are. We have arrived at Lake Worth. Just about an hour and a half north of where we were, but this is probably a good spot to just kind of hang out for a couple days, wait on some thunderstorms to go by, and uh, we'll head over there to a little, <laughs> I hesitate to use the, the term uh, uh, dinghy dock, but there's a bridge over in this corner we can tie up to, and there's a grocery store over there as well, so we can get some groceries and do that kind of thing. So this is a good little spot to be. Um, oh, I actually had some good news. Uh, if you recall, on our last little uh, uh, journey through South Florida, um, I was waving at the boats, and they just they weren't doing much waving back. And uh, I would like to um, report that the results have now improved. I waved at approximately 10 boats and one of them waved back. Well, now what do you want to do, Molly? Mm, just hang out on the boat for a little while, maybe go off the boat, <clears throat> like onto land, not swimming. <laughs> Why, you don't want to swim in this stuff? No. Why not? Uh, look at that water. <laughs> uh, I don't see any water, I see pea soup. Are you talking about this stuff? Yeah, I wouldn't want to swim in pea soup either. <laughs> Daddy. All right, we gotta we gotta be nicer to South Florida. I think we're losing uh, viewership. Do you think? <laughs> yes. Okay, let's be positive. I love South Florida. What are some of your favorite things of South Florida, Molly? Um, I don't know. Okay, here it has a pretty sky. Look at that. It, that is a beautiful sky up there. Just the prettiest blue. God, look at this water. Look at that beautiful sky. It's so amazing. The houses are good too. Yeah, there are good houses. Look at those those nice houses. God, I just can't I can't get the water out of the picture. Let me. There we go. Look at that picture. Look at those pretty houses and that pretty sky. It. Oh yuck! There it is again. No. Ah! <laughs> I don't think we're going to be able to use this footage, Tammy. What are you looking at? What am I not looking at? <laughs> oh, Molly, look. There's a starfish. Look, just right down there. There's not a starfish. There's a conch. Look at the big conch. It's not a conch. Oh no, it's a, it's a, it's a ray. Look at the ray swimming down there. It's not the ray. Is it a hermit crab? I can see a hermit crab. It's not a hermit crab. <laughs> Molly, they're right down there under the boat. Why are you not excited about these things? Oh, a lobster. It's not a lobster. I'm just trying to be positive. 
starfish or anything down there. There might be a couple fish. All right, here's our dinghy right there. It's just, we got it chained to this little fence here and then an anchor going out the back to kind of keep it floating there. And uh, this is just a little, this is where you bring your dinghy if you want uh, shore access from Lake Worth. It's at the uh, north end of Lake Worth. And you want to chain up your dinghy because, I mean, right here is, you know, there's kind of a warning, high theft area. Not sure who put that there, but right next to it, you know, you want to be courteous and pick up your beer cans as well. But yes, this is what we're dealing with. How's it going? Good looking? Good. I'm guessing you don't want to talk to the camera by the way you're walking around it. Well, sometimes you like me to walk past it just for... Oh, you thought it was one of, oh, you thought it was one of those situations? Okay. What's the name of this place? Tuesday morning. I've never been in one, but I love it. Can you say yeehaw? Yeehaw. <laughs> we need one of these for the boat? Yeah, we don't. Okay. <laughs> uh, so we're leaving Tuesday morning. Did you like that place? Uh -huh. I didn't think it was anything special. Maybe because it's Monday afternoon. Tampi? Yeah. You have chill bumps. I'm freezing. <laughs> We're not used to the air conditioning. Are you, are you bundled up because you're cold? Yes. It's freezing. Tambi. Yeah. You look cold. It's freezing. What have you got on your list? Tambi, I'm trying to... Can you show you, me your I list? I know exactly what you're trying to do. What are we looking for again? Fruit snacks. Fruit snacks? What? Fruit snacks. Camera. Thank you. Alright, we're back on the boat after a little grocery trip. We are putting away the groceries. Tambi, are you feeling any warmer? Warmer? Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty warm now. So I gotta tell you, you're looking kind of frigid there in the grocery store. Really? Yep. Just saying. I know. white legs folks all right let's go oh crap my oh. foot totally broke tammy i'm shoeless oh my lord I believe my shoe broke. I mean, I, I actually can believe my shoe broke because first the bottoms fell off and then the back strap broke on first one and then the back strap broke, broke on the second one. So it's actually not that surprising. It's just really bad timing. Tambi and Molly pressed on to uh, CVS. They're gonna try to find me a pair of cheap flip-flops because I don't want to go in barefoot. 
Uh, I'm behind a grocery store here. I'm about to bid my my uh, Tapas farewell. They've uh, had a very hard life, but uh, boy, these things, we've been many, many miles in the islands with these things. See you later, guys. Thank you. I'd like to just point out that this never would have happened if I had been wearing Crocs. All right, crisis averted. Got a sweet new pair of kicks. Yes, sir. That was two for six dollars. Not two sandals, two pairs of sandals for six dollars at CVS. CVS to the rescue. Thanks, honey. You're welcome. Oh, I miss my tabas.